Hello guys, welcome back to a new part of Android tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to working with Google Map in Android. The Google Map using API version 1 is replicated now, so you need to work with Google Map version API 2, API version 2. So the first thing you need to do is to install the Google Play Service SDK in your computer. So go to the window option and choose the Android SDK Manager and there is a folder called Xclass is available on the Android SDK Manager here here it is okay here it is and in that folder you can see a Google Play Service option is available in my case there is an update is available if you not install it first, it, first you need to install it Okay, after successful install it, you need to import it as a library project in the, into the workspace. So choose the import option. You can find the Android Google Play library project in your Android SDK folder and click next. Now browse for the Android SDK folder. In my computer it is located in my D drive. In D drive there is a folder called soft two ways there is a folder called the softwares okay in that folder here is the LAT bundle okay here is the SDK folder open the SDK folder and there is a folder called the xclass open it and in that folder you can see a folder called the Google and here is the Google Play service directly click OK a lot of other options are available here we only need the Google Play service library project so choose it only don't forget to click this option for copy project into workspace choose that option and click finish now we successfully added the Google Play service library as a library project into the Android workspace okay now we can just now we can start a new project for Google Maps so choose a new project click next it's an Android application project provide a name for the project I, I name it as Google map demo and change the package name also click next again click next click next create a blank activity here again click next here is the main activity and click finish okay now we got the project on the IDE okay now we have to add the Google Play service library project into the newly created project so right click the project choose the project properties so right click the newly created project and choose the properties and in the Android option choose the Android option and at the bottom of the window you can see a library option is available here by clicking the add button you can add the library project into our project here is the Google Play service library project and click OK now we successfully added the Google Play service library project into our project and click apply and click OK so now we successfully added the Google Play service library project into our project now we need to now we need the API key for the Google map so for that we need the SHI1 fingerprint so for getting the SHI1 fingerprint you need to set the Java variable path so choose the properties first you need to find out the Java compiler path so go in my computer it is uh, go to the C drive and choose the program files and in that to find out the Java folder and choose the JDK folder and open the bin folder here is the Java compiler path copy it now choose the properties of your computer and choose the advanced system settings choose the advanced the system setting option and here is the environment variable and click new option and click the new option 
and provide a variable name as path and paste that Android SDK path here and click OK. Now and click OK. Now we successfully set the Java variable path in our computer. Okay. Now you need to open up the command prompt. So open the command prompt. So by using the Java key tool you can you have to generate the SHA1 fingerprint. Here is the command for creating the SHA1 fingerprint key tool list v key store and user profile android debug key store. You will get this command from my blog. My blog URL is given under the description of this video. Copy this command. Copy this command.